I've met a lot of guys in the, uh, over 10 years that I've been coming in and out of the Green Center, and uh, I have seen life changes at the Green Center because of the, the God sent help. I just think that the, the Green Center and the Temple of Faith is a great thing for the guys that uh, are having a hard time fitting into the community. I can't say enough about the good things that I've seen while I was in there. And uh, it's only because of the God feeling in the place. And it just gives guys positive vibes instead of uh, being negative all the time. Hi, I am so uh, Pastor Sandra Laidlaw, so Pastor Michael's know. wife, and I have been blessed to be a part of this ministry for 15 years now. I started out on the advisory board, and um, once Pastor and I got married, then I, of course, became a board member. And I've seen God do a lot of miraculous things in this ministry. We have grown um, to such a capacity that's even beyond our dreams or our thinking. But, um, and God continues to grow the ministry. And we're just grateful. We're just grateful that he chose us to be the ones to minister into these men's lives. I can't even count the number of men that have come through this program and even the women that have come and um, we've been able to minister to. And it's, it's such a great feeling um, when God prepares you and brings you to a place in your life where he is ready to start using you and you don't realize that all your experiences have led you up to, to this point. But um, Pastor uh, started this ministry out of his home. I'm sure he didn't have any idea that of where it was going to go and where it is now. But starting it out of his home and from one little house to four buildings in St. Cloud and two buildings in Wilmer and now a potential third building in Wilmer as of July 1st and it's just awesome it's just awesome the, and the men that God has touched their lives and the changes that he does we are having a um, our church picnic we do baptism twice a year and we're having that here this day and it never fails what God does in touching someone's life out here and they get baptized and so we're just looking for God to continue to bless and to continue to grow the ministry and we want to stay humble I want to stay humble before the Lord to see his miraculous power because that's what it's all about hi my name is John and I am a caregiver at the OIF Dream Center and I am beyond honored to be a part of this organization I came here uh, back in uh, 1999 and went through the program and it changed my life. And ever since I've had a heart for helping people, it uh, completely uh, restored my belief that there is good in people and, and I've learned a few things by being here. One of the things I've learned is that it seems like the people that have the least give the most. Not only of their whatever they have, but also of their time in their hearts. So another thing I've learned is that uh, there's a real need for this organization. We meet a need that no one else uh, meets at this particular time. And I am so honored and uh, encouraged by all the help we, uh, we receive. Uh, the Bible clearly states that uh, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was a prisoner, you visited me, and that's what this ministry is about. We meet the immediate needs of people. We uh, teach them about God's love. We teach them that there's always redemption. We teach them that uh, you without sin cast the first stone. Uh, Jesus clearly said that you who do this to the least of mine, you do it unto me. And, and uh, 
we try to honor what the God, what uh, the Lord does here through the people, and we always, always, always try to teach them that about God's love, about the redemption that takes place, about restoring. Uh, we also uh, have multiple programming here. We have uh, different spiritual-based uh, groups that gather together. And we try to encourage these men to be a part of that here also. And we try to uh, instill in them that God has a purpose for their lives, that, uh, that God loves them, that God wants to provide and protect them, and that all these things come together. And all the things that we've gone through in our lives, the, the terrible uh, decisions we've made and, and the... Uh, the hurt that, that's been caused, that can be turned around. And, and all those things can be used for the good, not only from the testimony, but also to share with other people and really, really develop a strong uh, foundation as far as changing their lives and changing people's hearts towards them too. We've seen many, many examples of people coming through here time after time and being restored back to their families and, and getting good jobs and some of them going on to school and, and there's no greater no greater uh, satisfaction I think or gratification than to, than to watch these men and their hearts and their minds change from having no hope to, to receiving the, the hope that only the Lord can give us so I am so honored and I am so blessed to be a part of this ministry and I pray Lord I pray that uh, the Lord touches your hearts through these videos, through this uh, information, and, and we are always looking for some kind of help too. We we need people to stand alongside of us. Uh, we need financial help at times. We need there's different uh, things. You know, it, it costs uh, it costs quite a bit to run a ministry like this, and so we're always uh, asking for people to help us out in different places and, and different uh, things. Not only to volunteer, but I guarantee that if you did take time out of your life to, to come and, and see what goes on here and get to know these men, that you would never be the same. That all the stereotypes that you thought about people that have came out of prison or homelessness or addiction or whatever else, you'd come away with a realization that uh, there by the grace of God go I. So I just encourage you to, to you know, take time out of your life and just come and check us out. We, uh, we have many, many wonderful volunteers and, and people alongside of us, but we could always use more. So again, I am so blessed and honored and, and to be a part of this ministry and to be a part of what the Lord did through Pastor Michael and Pastor Sandra. And uh, we see ourselves in the future as growing and helping even more and more people. And there's always going to be that need. Obviously, the prisons are not emptying out. So... Uh, and the world does need to, to hear the message of hope and restoration. So again, I thank you for listening to this, and I please, please think about coming and checking us out. I just want to thank all of the people that have been involved with our ministry over the last 20 years. I have met some wonderful, wonderful people uh, that have sacrificed and given their time and their effort, their money, uh, their time in prayer uh, to keep us going and to keep us focused on serving the poor, serving the homeless, serving the ex-offender. And if it had not been for all of that sacrifice and all of that giving that happened, we wouldn't be here. And it was such miracles and that when you gave, when you helped, it was the perfect timing that came about to meet the needs that we had, whether it be a roof or whether it be a, um, a different financial obligation or some kind of a, if it was food or if it was hygiene products, it was exactly what we needed at the time. And we're just so grateful for all of you that helped us over all of those years and, have, and can, will continue to help us. The future of Overcomers International Fellowship is that we're going to continue to grow to meet the need. And we aren't here to make some kind of legacy or to beat our own drum. We're here to meet the needs that are out there as far as 
uh, the numbers of people that are still homeless, that are still in need, uh, and some solid programming that we can get them into and advocate them and see them, uh, educate them and see their lives transform. So we're, that's our goal in this, the next 20 years that we want to do, is that we want to continue to do a, a, a ministry of excellence and continue to see lives changed. Thank you very, very much for helping us. Just in